Yeah, hi all, welcome to the Orbi Academy. Today we are going to start the scenario based entry question, and uh, uh, I am going to take now like the uh, SQL scenario based entry question now, and uh, mm -hmm. there might be the one or the two questions based on the scenario. I am going to cover the twenty scenario based question here, and you guys can practice. And if you have the any doubts, please come up with the questions. Okay, let me start the first scenario based question. You have the table named employee with the columns, employee ID and the salary, okay? And what they are expecting is, find the highest salary among the all the employee. Here the table name also they have given, column also they have given. To find out the highest salary, I have already explained you the aggregate function. What is the aggregate function? Min, max, all those things are there, na? To find out the highest, we are going to use the max. And which column we are going to apply? Max, salary, select, max, salary, as you can give the alias or not, it is a depends upon you. Then from table, table name, here is the employee. Okay, if you execute this and you are going to uh, get the desired result, maximum salary. Okay, this is the answer for this. They ask means you guys can write this. Okay, next scenario based question. Scenario. You need to count the number of employees in each department. Each department from the employee table. Okay. From the employee table, we need to count the number of employees in each department. Each department, how we can count? We can count. How we can count is if you do the group by department, then only you'll be able to do that. Okay. Consider the employee uh, table has the uh, department and the employee ID and uh, like the other columns. I need, I, they want the each department department name and the how much number of employee for the each department. For this, just you need to select in the select statement, department comma count star as I have given the number of employee. They want to find out the number of employee. That is the reason my convenience, I am making it from, from employee table group by department. If you do this, it is going to department and count. But department A, how it will give? Department A, 30. Department B, 20. Like this, it is going to give the answer for us, okay? And uh, let us move on to the next question here. And scenario three, you want to retrieve the top five highest paid employee from the employee table. How we are going to get the highest paid employee from the table is highest paid. Highest paid means uh, like the whenever you will retrieve the detail from the any table, uh, that automatically it will be in the ascending order. Okay, if you do the descending order, then all the uh, it will, uh, the salary table will be ordered in the descending order. Okay. Then I want the Payu highest paid. Payu highest paid means I want, let me take an example here. How? So uh, think that the around 110 people are there out of that Payu highest paid. So I will take the 100. Okay. First employee. So on up to 500. Okay and 500 and uh, here the 600 okay and 700 okay 800 okay similarly it will go up to 1000 okay okay they want the five highest paid employees from the employee table so they are the downside how we can select them we need to what we can do we can use the uh, order the salary table salary table by descending order, then use the limit of for you, then you will be getting the desired result. So I'll be getting the result as 1,000, 900, 800, 700, and 600. Like this, I'll be getting as a result. For this, you can mention whatever the column you need it in the select statement, you write it here, then from employee and order by salary, Descending limit for you. These are the intro questions they asked. How you are going to select the last Payu 
last pi or the three record from the table means you can answer descending and limit okay like this you can answer the sql scenario based questions okay let us see the next question and uh, scenario four you you have the two tables they have given the two tables what is the two tables are employee department and uh, you need to retrieve the name of the employee along with their department name okay and uh, retrieve the name of the employee along with their department name employee and the department here we need to what we need to do we need to do uh, combine these two tables based on what based on who like the what is the common between these two we are going to combine this okay what is the co common between these two i we have to assume it okay here the department id and department id here it is there you need to assume and you need to combine that okay the think that uh, um, first name and the last name and department name they want to name with the, along with their department name this uh, name of the employee e dot name e dot last name that department name department d where it will be in the department table that is the reason d dot department from employee e inner join department d on e dot department id is equal to d dot department id this is our query guys okay whenever someone asks you to write means you should be able to write this one okay and let us go ahead and see the fifth scenario you need to find the employee who have the same salary and the department as the employee id employee id a department as the employee id 101 same salary how we are going to get the same salary same salary means this will call it as uh, like the uh, self join self join self join in the sense uh, like the we need to and uh, uh, we need to have the uh, combine the same table twice that will call it as the self join see here what i am going to do same salary means uh, we need to all the employee find the employee who have the same salary uh, who are having the same salary means we need to combine the table twice how we can combine e2 dot employee id e2 dot first name e2 dot last name okay and from employee employees e1 inner join employee e2 see here the same table i have inner join twice and alias is different on e1 dot salary equal to e2 dot salary this is going to what it is going to do it is going to give us the uh like the same salary the what they ask you need to who has the same salary and second one will will try after this and uh, department also they asked right e1 dot department id equal to e2 dot department id okay and based on the department also we have combined it and where e1 employee id is equal to 101 department as the employee id 101 see here because they want the employee id is equal to 101 that is the reason i have e1 employee id is equal to 101 i have away combined and they don't want the employee id uh, not equal to 101 from the employee 2 that is the reason this condition will satisfy so we are going to write the queries like this okay and let us see the scenario six you have the table orders with the columns order id customer id order date what we have to perform here retrieve the total number of the order placed by the each customer each customer home uh, each customer in the year 2023 so in the where obviously in the where condition a group by condition it will come and then uh, like the year where condition where condition we need to put the year then group by each customer by order placed by each customer means we have to group by customer id okay what is the our query should be first we'll be selecting the customer id count number of order they ask us to find out total number of order by each customer means count star as a number as the number orders from order where year year and order id because 
year of order date if a column i give this is going to give the year year like the 2023 2024 2022 like this it is going to give and uh, what i need year what they said is 2020 group by customer id why i need to how much each customer has ordered it that is the reason i have used the uh, group by customer id this is the your your query should be okay and you how you guys how to try is you take this problem statement then you start writing the query then only you are going to get it okay let us understand the next query here okay you need to find the average salary of the employee in the each department display it along with the department name okay and they have not given the just uh, uh, like the yeah which table you need to page all those things consider the employee every salary of the employees means you need to um, take the employee table okay and if you got a confusion you ask them we, what are the tables i need to uh, I need to be considered. Okay. okay. And uh, for example, uh, uh, you, you can say employee, only employee I need to consider, uh, like the only I need to consider the department. Like this, you can ask and definitely they are going to give the input. Okay. And select what you have to do. What are they asked? Every salary of the employee in each department. Each department, when it comes to the each department, means we need to group by, you need to, in your head, you need to place that each department, each, each customer, then we need to do the group by only grouping that one. We need to group that department by average salary. Okay, so department ID, average salary, they want the average salary, right? As average salary from employee, group by department id if you do this department uh, for example department one it has the average salary of 800 department two has uh, 900 like this we are going to get the result desired result this is the department id and this is the average salary till okay. in the real time we are going to get like this okay let me move on to the next scenario what is the next scenario we'll consider you want to retrieve the all the employee who do not belong to the any department this is the one of the question they asked okay scenario based they have asked that is the reason i have included here okay and uh, what is our query should be then see here uh, Retrieve the all the employees who do not belong to the any department. Obviously, uh, employee table only we need to consider. Employee ID, you take the select statement. You can mention employee ID, first name, last name, or anything if you want. Phone number, all those things. From employee, where department no, do not belong to the any department means department ID is null. That is the reason we need to select that only. Okay. Those only we are going to select it here. Okay, for this, what we have to do? Department is null, then we are going to get the desired result. Okay, why I make it department is null? The Any employee doesn't have the, any department, that department will be uh, having the null value. That is the reason I want to select those customers only. Okay, what is the next scenario? Scenario nine, you need to find the number of employees hired in a, each year. Number of employee hired in each year. How each year means I told you right. We need to uh, group by year, year uh, bracket. Then uh, what are the higher uh, higher date? And uh, this one uh, close the bracket. And that you, you should be consider. See here, group by year higher date I have taken from the employee table. See here, year I, I want the year, they want the find the number of employee held in the each year. For example, year 2020, I want the uh, year 2020, uh, 2021, uh, 200 employee, 2022, like the 300 employee. Okay, like this, you can consider. Okay, output will be like this. Okay, and uh, let us see 
the what is the how the query it will come and hi uh, here higher date as higher date and count it is going to give the count number of uh, employee hired from employee table group by year higher date okay you should be easily able to do this guys okay and the next uh, next question what we are going to do here is you have the table student uh, i have to, yesterday only i have got this kind of scenario based question okay uh, we have the table called the student with the column student id and the marks find the second highest scored by the student okay there are the multiple way of finding out the second highest salary here okay and but you guys can use this uh, like the first what we can do uh, select maximum marks as the second highest mark from student where marks marks is less than select maximum marks from students so it will first it will fetch the uh, highest mark for example let me take an example student mark is 100 180 okay 80 70 okay and uh, here is the second highest is which one 80 right so what it is going to do uh, the first um, if i do the maximum of the stu from the student means here the 100 will come okay once the less than 100 less than 100 is the 80 right the second highest one so this here this is this query it is going to fetch the 80 our result is 80 here okay like this you need to write the queries guys okay, in the real time okay and uh, let us go ahead and uh, see the other scenario here you want to retrieve the top three department with the highest average salary of the employee. Okay. And highest three department who has, I have already told you, right? How we can find the average, uh, average salary of the each department. Already we have that. Okay. What is uh, already by our group by department ID we have, right? So nothing you need to do department id average salary as average salary from employee group by department if you do the group by department all the uh, department wise uh, department id and average salary each department it will display then what i am going to do order by first i will do order by average salary then descending order then i want to select the three department with the highest average only the highest average uh, we need to do the first order by average salary then descending limit if i apply the descending and then if i apply the limit then i will get the this desired result okay you order by average desc limit three if you do definitely you are going to get the desired result okay anyone has any doubts if you have any doubts please ping the t in the chat box guys i am happy to take the questions here okay and scenario uh you need to find the number of order placed by the each customer and sort the result in descending order order of the number of orders okay number of order placed by each customer obviously each customer means we need to do the group by customer id that is should be keep in the mind keep in the mind then you go for the second short the result in the descending order of number of orders. See here number of order. So what I have to do? Order by after this group by the order table. You need to take the order table, customer ID, count order number, then from the order, group by customer ID, order by number of order descending. You need to use like this. This is the query for us they might give the scenarios exactly the similar i at the end of this session i am going to real time yesterday i have paste that one okay i am going to show you the what they have asked what question they have asked i am going to show you once i will finish this okay next scenario uh, you want to retrieve the name of the employees who joined the company in the january January, January means the month, 
month obviously they have not given the year all those things month how we will calculate the month from the date higher date the month uh, um, open bracket uh, open the bracket and then higher date then it will give the month month for us okay and after this and if you want to the january means one february means two the like this it will continue till december it will continue one two three till 12 okay and they want the only the employee who has joined the in the january month in the where condition you need to put this higher date in the employee table you can whatever the all the employee name of the employee only they ask right name of the employee means obviously in the select statement first name and last name should be there okay this is our query and uh, what about the next scenario scenario is you have the table products with the column product id product name and the price product column contains the three columns find the topmost expensive product topmost expensive product expensive product how we are going to get it based on the price only right based on the price oh there is a no need to do the oh, group by all those things just if you do the order by price in the descending then if you apply the limit then obviously you are going to get it what i need in the select statement is product id product name and the price only one one table is there product if you select this all the data will come in the ascending order i they want the five expensive product means they want the only the five highest expensive product expensive product means which product has the highest value five expensive product for example, uh, thousand, okay, and eight hundred, and seven hundred, five hundred, like this. They want like this, okay. And for this, what you have to do? You have to. Your query should be order by price and descending, descending limit for you. You need to write the queries like this, okay. And what about the next scenario? Next scenario is you need to retrieve the name of the employees who have the A in their first name, B in the last name. So here we are going to use the like operator as you already know this, right? We need to use the like operator in the handy. How we can use the like operator? Okay. Let me show you that in practical way. Okay. No, you should be aware about this. Who has the A in their first name? First name is the uh, one column. The last name. Last name is the uh, two columns. Two um, columns will, will come in the where clause. Okay. Select. What to select? You need to retrieve the name of the employee. What they said? Name of the employee means you can select the first name and the last name based on the employee table. Uh, what it contains. The select statement is covered. Then from which table? Employee table. Okay, and where first name they asked, right? First name A should be how it should be like, like it should be to who are the A in their first name. They have the A, and that is the reason it will they didn't say starting with the A. Obviously, they have the A in the first name, that is the reason they want to do this. And last name they have the B in their last name, they didn't say the it will start with the B. If they have start with the B means we could have given like this. Okay, they didn't say in between they might be having. That is the reason if they start with the A means we could have given like this. Okay, they didn't say it is in their first name and the last name. That is the reason we have taken like this. Okay, please do remember this is the one of the scenario based question they might ask. Okay, and uh, you have the table order with the column order ID, order date, and amount, find the total sales for each year. Each year means, each year means again, I need to uh, order uh, like the year, I need to apply for this, and we need to use the group by. You should be keep in the mind. Okay, find the total sales. Total sales means obviously year, order date as the sales year, and sum, we need to do sum, amount, amount sum we need to do. Uh, total sales total means I need to do the total uh, they didn't say as the calculate the 
number of times. Uh, they didn't say the count. They say the total sales means we need to do the sum of amount. Sum of amount as the total sales from order table, group by year order date. So this is our query. Okay. Whenever they will ask like this, you have to write like this. Okay. And scenario. You need to retrieve the name of the employee who do not have the any manager. This is also a simple thing. I department null I have taken, right? Who do not have the manager means obviously the manager ID is null. If you put the manager ID is the null in the where condition, obviously you will get the desired result uh, from the employee table. The first name, last name, and uh, from employee where manager ID is null, who do not have the any manager, it will retrieve the data as per the this one. Okay, scenarios uh, 18. And you have the two tables, student and the course with the column student ID, course ID and the marks. Retrieve the name of the student along with the course name by their take uh, names they have taken and the marks obtained in the each course. Obviously here we need to combine these two tables, students table and the other table is course tables. Okay, what is what basis we need to combine here? Student course, student ID, and uh, obviously the student ID will be in the course table also. They have taken the uh, student courses and uh, SC student and inner sign. Again, they have taken the course. They explicitly, they have given here course C on uh, SC dot student uh, course ID and the C dot course ID. And they want the all the marks. Okay, yes. S dot student name, C dot course name, S C dot marks. Okay, if you sit and study, and definitely you are going to get this desired output. Okay, and what is the nineteenth scenario here is like the you need to retrieve the detail of the oldest employee. Oldest employee means oldest employee means obviously, obviously oldest employee means it is going to get the oldest means minimum higher rate should be the minimum then only you are going to get it the uh, like the um, oldest employee so you from the employee table you can select the uh, whatever the dates you want like the first name last name and higher date from employee where higher date higher date if you give the minimum higher date uh, like the minimum higher date which are the uh, um, in this one and then we are going to get the desired result, okay? And higher date is equal to select minimum higher date from employee. This will give the higher date, minimum higher date. So this I will apply here. This is going to get the desired result, oldest one, okay? And scenario 20, you have the table product with the column product ID and category and find the number of product in each category. Each category means I told you, right? Obviously, group by you need to apply for the product table. Display the category with a zero product as well. Obviously, even though if it is the zero also, it is going to get it. So our query should be select category, comma, count, star, prom product table, group by category. This is about the scenario based question in SQL. Okay, anyone has any doubts? Before uh, I am going to explain you the one uh, uh, real time scenario based I have paced yesterday. Anyone has any doubts, please? No one has any doubts? Okay. This is the question I have pasted yesterday. student okay what they asked is they given the three tables guys okay three tables they have given what is the student student id first name last name gpa enrollment date and measure and course table has the course uh, student reference id course name program uh, program start date scholarship table has the uh, student reference id scholarship amount and the scholarship date okay these are the things it has okay and what i want the student having the same gpa they
they want to display the data. So GPA means that is the grade in the colleges we are using that grade. They want the all the students who are having the same grade. So obviously I have to use the self join. I am aware about this. That is the reason I am able to write the query. So what is the query I have written? Okay. What is the query I have written is? Select a dot first name, a dot last name from a dot students a, inner join students b on a dot gpa equal to b dot gpa. This is the answer for this. We need to combine the table twice and uh, which condition I need to, for example, gpa, GPA is uh, this one. We need to combine the uh, GPA. If it is the GPA is 100, then GPA is 100. For example, usually GPA will be in like the point wise, it will be there 6.5 uh, 10 uh, out of 10 GPA they are going to give. Okay, for example, think that the two one student having the GPA of 6.5. Okay, second student have the seven and third student have the uh, GPA up 6.5. Okay. And uh, I am telling to the, this query that so I want the two students which are having the same GPA. These two students have the same GPA. That is the reason desired result 1 and 3 and GPA is equal to 6.5. Okay. And uh, you are getting it right. So anyone has any doubts? Anyone has any doubts, please?